What's up guys, this is David with True Dreams Fitness. Hey, we have a super easy recipe for you guys. Uh, for those that eat chicken breast, uh, this is a great mix to uh, enhance your chicken breast and cook it in the air fryer. So first of all, we're gonna start off with three large chicken breasts and we're gonna put them in a large mixing bowl. If you're anything like me, you love chicken breast, but you get tired of eating the same thing or eating it the same way. So this is just another great recipe uh, for ease and, uh, and cooking bulk uh, for the air fryer. So I uh, can't wait to show you guys. Now in this recipe, there's not a lot of ingredients, so but these few ingredients are really going to enhance the flavor so well, you're definitely gonna enjoy this one. Now the first ingredient we're gonna add, low sodium soy sauce. And you don't need a lot, but we're gonna add four tablespoons because we have three large chicken breasts in the bowl. So we're gonna add this to our mix. Now we're gonna add five grams of sweetener. I'm using a stevia powder sweetener. You can use whatever you like, uh, but I am using five grams of the sweetener just to add a little bit of sweetness to it. All right, so now we're gonna add some seasoning on top of that. And you can use whatever seasoning you like for this recipe. I'm using the total seasoning. Uh, this is a good all-around seasoning. Uh, I've used a couple of different ones in the past, but this one and um, I've got one other one I like to really use. It does a great job. Now make sure you use a good amount of this because again, we're covering three large chicken breasts. So uh, add a good amount. And of course, and last but not least, I like to kick it up a notch. So we're gonna add a little bit of sriracha. So, if you don't like any spicing your food, then don't add any of this in here. But really, even the amount I'm adding in here, I add just a little bit of hint of spice, not too much. So obviously you can get pretty crazy with it and kick it up even more by adding more of this or maybe some red peppers, chili, whatever. So, uh, but again, we're just adding just a little bit of this sriracha just for a small kick. Now we got all the ingredients in. <laughs> it's time to get them hands dirty. So make sure you mix this really well. Get that hand in there, hands in there, and really get the chicken moving around in the bowl because you want to cover all those pieces really, really well. So flip it, roll it, slip it down, you know what I'm saying? Just get it going in that bowl. <laughs> so you want to just make sure they're all really, really covered well because all those ingredients are just going to uh, move around and, and, and off to the side. So you scrape the sides off around the side of the bowl. Uh, just. Make sure you use your hands really good and get every little bit of ingredients that we just put in covered on the chicken. Now once that fun is over with, <laughs> mixing it up, we're going to set it on the counter. So um, you can put it in the fridge. I usually will sit it on the counter for a minimum of 30 minutes to an hour just to marinate because typically I'm uh, putting this together uh, in the same day and time frame as I'm actually going to cook it. Uh, if you're going to maybe do it much later, um, you can obviously cover put it in the refrigerator, but for this recipe for today, um, I typically cook it um, within an hour of me prepping it and putting it on the counter. So typically 30 minutes to an hour, mix up real well on the counter is good for that. All right, so now it's time to put these bad boys in. They've been marinating for an hour and we're gonna put them into the air fryer. Now I have the Dual Zone Ninja. If you don't have one of these, man, I'm not sponsored anyway. I love it because it's dual zone. You can cook two things at the same time, different temperatures, different time frames, or the same. I mean, it, it is, it's awesome. So anyway, so I'm gonna put my chicken breast in these trays, so I've got two of them. And uh, I typically will do smooth side down, and uh, so that way the thicker, um, you know, rough side, I guess, is on top, so it will do the browning and the juices will flow over, which is super awesome. So we're gonna cook this at 390 degrees, and typically I'll do it for about 35 minutes. Now, I will start checking it around 30 minutes um, just to see how it's cooked, because sometimes it does cook a little bit more, uh, a little faster than other times, but it also depends on how big the breasts are and uh, how much space you're covering up in the tray. So um, if there's more air that's able to flow around the chicken, um, it's actually gonna cook faster. So um, let's get both these trays done and get started. These bad boys cooking for about 35 minutes. <laughs> now, I want you to take a look at these. As we pull these out, man, look how golden brown they are. They're just looking good. I'm telling you, I, this recipe works so well and it tastes so good putting a nice coating on the outside of the chicken breast. So we're gonna take these out of the trays 
and I've got this cool new fancy cutting board. Actually, my neighbor made this for me and uh, I love it. Um, so it's nothing like having a good cutting board in the kitchen, so. Anyway, so he made me a nice cutting board, so I put all the chicken breasts on the cutting board and let it cool for, you know, 30 minutes or so, uh, just so I can handle it real well, so we can uh, slice that. Plus, you let it rest, it just seems to make it juicier. It just keeps the juices locked in, and that's what we want, especially if you're prepping for several days in advance, because when you cut all this up and you put them in containers, you don't want them to dry out. So, this is one great way to do that. Now, i tell you what, man, <laughs> Slicing these things up, look how beautiful they are inside. They, they are perfectly cooked. Uh, there's no pink, they're super juicy, and they are cooked to perfection. So these, man, I tell you what. So I typically will, will portion all these out. I do five ounce increments and I'll put them in containers. And typically I put spinach and some other things in there. But, uh, but anyway, I hope this guys, hope this guys, hope this helps you guys on making your chicken just another way to improve your meals for the week because I thoroughly enjoy it, so I want to share this with you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you like these kind of videos. I'm trying to do more and more of these uh, as I go. And again, I always eat everything I put on videos. So uh, you will never see me post a video of something that's horrible. <laughs> so now I do like to try other people's uh, recipes for myself first, and if it's good enough, I'll make a video of it with maybe some slight changes for the macros and whatnot. So anyway guys, Hope to see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time.